guys. Welcome back to another episode of Catch My Drift. My name is Adam. Thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to be talking about this little guy here. Telescopic fishing rod made by Meg Reel. Founded on Amazon. And I'll be giving you reasons why I ended up purchasing it. What I like about it. What I don't like about it. Is it worth your money? Stay tuned. That worked pretty well, actually. This happens to be a 2.1 meter length. So it's close to eight foot rod. It's a medium heavy rod. So it's good for like bass fishing. And actually it's, it's also compatible to be used in salt water and fresh water from what I've read. Also comes with these metal slip rings here. So you can uh, adjust accordingly to reel seat on your fishing reel, whichever one you decide to go with. I think it has a nice action to it myself. I personally like a stiffer rod tip, so this is just perfectly fine for me and what I like to use. I did a trip back to Ontario, and it was back in July, and I wasn't able to really take whole lot for fishing gear with me so all I ended up taking was my little dock demon which I stuck into like a, a travel suitcase and I brought a whole bunch of lures and a few reels because I knew that my dad had some fishing rods that I could use there but not long after getting there and fishing with a couple of his different fishing reels I noticed that the actions were quite soft and I was missing fish on hook sets. I was fishing for largemouth bass and so it felt like I needed a stiffer rod to really get a, a solid hook set. I decided to look on Amazon. My wife and I came across this this particular brand, Mag Reel. I read a bunch of reviews like I always do before I purchase something. It's very important by the way for more expensive items. You don't want to get stuck with something that just turns out to be trash. I just want to give a, an honest review on this rod and what I think of it so far. It looks like the mag reel can come in different lengths from 5.91 feet, 10.82 feet. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good difference of size there. Rod material itself is made out of 24T carbon fiber, it says. Stainless steel guides with ceramic rings. Uh, it also does come with options that you have here. You can get it with a, a combo, like a rod and reel combo. This particular seller here, it also says to get this kit model as well. So it'll come with like a little tackle box, tackle tray with uh, some different lures and stuff in it. And it also comes with a, a carrying case, like a one that you can actually hold with a handle and it's kind of got like a soft shell, if you will. And it looks like it comes with some fishing line too, so that's uh, that's pretty good. But one thing I would like to mention is that the price differences is really vary, guys. For example, it's saying prices from 29.05 to 157.11. But I did notice when I purchased my rod, my particular one here, 7.87 foot one, it was actually cheaper to buy than say like the the six foot eight nine. So why, I don't really know. I have landed some good sized carp on this rod already. Large smoke bass. I was even using it for panfish like bluegill and uh, it handled it just fine. Like the, I could feel the bites when the smaller fish were tapping away on my worm or, or uh, jig or something like that as well. It's perfect for if you're gonna be backpacking into a spot maybe like this. Say maybe you're you're hiking into a provincial park in Ontario or wherever you may be and you don't have a spare hand to be carrying your fishing rod and stuff. You can just pick it in your backpack and away you go. So let's talk about the, the things that I did like about the Mag Reel fishing rod that I purchased. I love the fact that it is a telescopic rod i can just stick the rod right in my backpack and it's it's very compact i think it's maybe 18 inches long if that when it's folded down so that's pretty sweet i mean you can 
do some stealth fishing if you wanted to like sneak into some, some ponds and stuff like that not recommending it mm -mm. anyways the price point if you find the right one it is good um, but that's where I'm going to come into some of the cons here I would say the con is that the prices can vary quite a bit depending on rod length and the other big thing is comfort is a big deal for you where where I'm holding my rod there for the real seat it's it's not padded at all so you got to keep that in mind so if that is a uh, that's a deal breaker for you guys then in this case I would say I don't recommend it to you there might be some other telescopic fishing pole out there that might work better for you you will notice some discomfort with this rod over time and if you're fighting some big fish in conclusion would I recommend this overall I would say yes but it really depends on your personal preference on different things and how much you're willing to spend guys I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did I would appreciate a thumbs up also consider subscribing for more content like this if you enjoyed it I've got YouTube shorts and I do have long form videos anything from steelhead fishing to largemouth bass to carp I mean you name it it's on there so I I'm no professional by no means I am not monetized currently I would like to work towards that so every subscriber counts and uh, all the watch hours that go along with it so I enjoy making videos like this for you guys and I hope you enjoy them too so until next time thanks for stopping by to catch my drift